Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the April 27th, 2023 work session of the Penfield Planning Board. We will begin the meeting with a pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Uh, take the roll. Hetsky? Hetsky here. Uh, Aiken? Aiken here. Knauer? Knauer here. Tidings? Tidings here. Thanksgiver here. Weissar? Here. O'Connor? O'Connor here. Prinzing? Prinzing here. All right. Okay. Uh, we have minutes from our previous uh, last meeting. Uh, hopefully everybody's had an opportunity to take a look and can we entertain a motion to approve tidings to make the motion to accept now or second <laughs> that's key that's key aye Aiken. Aiken aye can our can our aye tidings tidings aye okay doug would you like to go through our tabled applications all right, tabled application number one, 1801 and 1787, Fairport Nine Mile Point Road, the Pathstone application. Uh, we have received no new information since our last meeting. Okay. Uh, Motion to continue tabling. Tidings second. Hetsky? Hetsky, aye. Aiken? Aiken, aye. Knauer? Knauer, aye. Tidings? Tidings, aye. All right, tabled application number two, 2130 Fairport Nine Mile Point Road, uh, Chick-fil-A. Uh, likewise, we haven't received any new information. When we do, we'll schedule a new public hearing. Okay. Somebody want to move to table? Yeah, I'll move to table the application. Tidings second. Hetsky? Hetsky, aye. Aiken? Aiken, aye. Knauer? Knauer, aye. Tidings? Tidings, aye. All right. Tabled application number three, <clears throat> 2305 Penfield Road, the Nilafar subdivision. Um, since our last meeting, likewise, we sent out a new tabling resolution um, outlining the board's concerns from last meeting. We haven't received any new information at this time. The rg and &E substation. Mm, oh, sorry, that's, uh... I went out of order. Uh, rg &E substation, 2070 Empire Boulevard. Um, so on uh, Tuesday, we received a letter from rg &E. um, They would like to withdraw their application from before the planning board. Um, after doing some additional site search, they think they found a new location. Uh, when they've completed formal engineering, they'll make a new application to the board. Okay, we don't have to no. Take any action, they just withdrew. Okay. Okay. All right. Application number four, 2305, Penfield Road, the Nilafar subdivision. Um, uh, like I said previously, we uh, sent out a rather detailed tabling resolution after the last meeting. And we've received no new information at this time. Okay. Guess I'll move to table. Aiken, second. That's key. That's key I. Aiken? Aiken, I. Knauer? Knauer, I. Tidings. Tidings, I. All right, tabled application number five, 1327 Penfield Center Road, the Adele subdivision. Um, so since our last meeting, we have received a new plat. Uh, the new plat shows the approximate location of the septic system based off of the inspection <coughs> field sketch done by Monroe County Department of Public Health. Uh, it satisfies staff's concerns, um, ensuring that the septic system wouldn't encroach on or fall within the setback requirements for uh, the septic system for our property line. Um, however, there are two things uh, we'd still like to see on the revised plat and we'll be informing the applicant. Um, the plat needs to be stamped by a licensed land surveyor for consideration and um, the 500 foot contour, which is done partially on the plan, that uh, goes sort of past the existing home, um, needs to continue to show the boundaries of the um, flood elevation. Okay, so those two things, and yes. we should be good to go. We should be good to go. Okay. Okay. All right, 
Yeah, that was mine. Okay. So I would say, unless there's an objection, if they meet the, the, the two items that was discussed and satisfies engineering, I move that we uh, approve. Well, was, you mean you want to have uh, staff prepare an approval resolution? No, approval resolution, okay. correct. And for the, consideration of the next for meeting? For consideration with the next meeting, yeah. Okay. With the seeker. So. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay, so, so. table this week, right. uh, assume we get the uh, land surveyor stamp and the 500 foot contours. And assume, given that we prepare the um, approval resolution for next meeting. Okay. Yes, we'll complete seeker second. and do the approval at the May 11th work session. All right. Okay. Uh, yes, this is not necessarily a public forum, but go ahead. Okay. <coughs> you, you need to come up, though. And introduce yourself. I'm James E. Dell, property owner of 1327 yep. Penfield Center Road. Um, the surveyor said that once everything gets approved, he'll get the signed copy when he actually he's wait, he's working with the county surveyor. He was out there today putting a couple of stakes in that he required. And he said as soon as he gets all the approval, then, he, then he'll sign the copy and I'll have to get some other signatures to bring in. So he said he doesn't want to sign it and, and have it all out there until it's ready to go. So that typically is not how I've really ever heard um, a surveyor or a PE or somebody um, approaching something that's at least come before well, us. I've, I've had to submit a few different copies. So he said he doesn't want all these different copies out there with his signature on it. He said when it's everything's uh, said and done and approved, then he will sign the copy and I can turn it in. So staff's working on a final response letter with comments from the latest um, plat that we received. Uh, if the surveyor satisfies all those requirements, if he can stamp that one, that should be the last one staff needs to look at. Assuming all the corrections are made, I think we had another comment on just required the now, signature now is, boxes the, that are required. The 500 foot, that's, that's uh, new, that wasn't asked last time or else that would have been satisfied. Um, so that is showing the base flood elevation. Okay. Because the property is located within a, a FEMA floodplain with the base I elevation have, determined. I have a FEMA photo that shows. <clears throat> yeah, and so the surveyor just needs to map that onto the plan. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so maybe the surveyor can contact the engineering department and the planning department. Yeah, I could certainly <clears throat> just work out all the details okay then we could get it all take, squared away that would be wonderful at the next meeting thank you I, I know it's uh, uh, it's daunting <laughs> yes I totally understand okay very good thank you for your so, time I sure thanks okay so yep. we have a motion did we get a yes. second a second We'll get, we'll get that out to you. All right, Hetsky? Hetsky, aye. Aiken? Aiken, aye. Knauer? Knauer, aye. <clears throat> Tidings? Tidings, aye. All right. Tabled application number six, uh, 1676 Penfield Road, Flower City Arcade Expansion. Um, so over the weekend, uh, we did receive comments from the applicant uh, responding to um, the tabling resolution. Uh, it addressed some of the concerns in uh, broader terms, um, but ultimately we'll need to see that um, in, in a plan. They may want to look at um, having a PE do a formal site plan um, with lighting and landscaping and that it's getting a little bit more um, than what many surveyors are comfortable doing. Um, 
That said, we did receive a revised plat today. Um, I don't think I have a scanned copy of it in yet. Um, that does show um, handicapped parking um, on the site. They did go before the zoning board last Thursday. Um, it was tabled before the zoning board um, and they did uh, draft a memo to the planning board. I've included a copy both in the drop and as, uh, I have a copy in front of you guys as well. Um, the zoning board concerns were generally around um, the amount of parking, um, the terms of the parking with the neighbor and uh, wanting to make sure that we work out um, what parking will be needed by the applicant. Um, they really want to work down to, um, you know, because they're, they're looking at a parking variance, um, working at um, ensuring that whatever the zoning board is looking at um, will um, satisfy the uh, requirement before the zoning board of minimum variance necessary, but also provides enough um, space for the applicant and enough comfort for both boards that um, there won't be an issue with parking in the future. <clears throat> okay. So, um, ZBA tabled essentially. They have any issues with the other variances to your knowledge? Um, to my knowledge, no. Okay. So the parking is the real thing and having some sort of formal, A, uh, figuring out what the exact requirement is and then how much the variance, how much of a variance is being asked for. Yes. And, and then uh, having some type of long-term agreement, easement, or whatever to provide whatever parking. Yes. Is um, yeah. So they they would like um, you know the to identify the maximum number of occupants desired for the arcade, um, either through. Um, you know, what is the legal maximum that the fire marshal could post it at, or what is the maximum that the applicant would be willing to put on paper, um, that the fire marshal could um, post a reduced maximum based on other factors on the property um, outside of the um, building envelope or the interior um, movable space. Um, establishing the shared parking agreement with the neighbor and, and really what that entails. Um, I know we're looking at a lease agreement. Leases have the potential to not be renewed, which could create an issue in the future if they have the 20 spaces on site, they're renting spaces off site, and you know, Speedy's has some new tenant come in that requires substantially more parking. If that lease agreement goes away at its expiration, are we left with a parking issue on a neighboring property now? <clears throat> right. They've seen this letter, right, from zoning? So. Um, no, we just received this. Okay, so well, we, we can forward it on. Time to anyways we can forward it answer, on. Answer, right, some of the concerns of zoning and or planning. And if uh, we need more time to work with uh, the town to get these issues squared away, which they want, you know, whatever they want to work out so they can get close to where we, you know, might see some type of approval. They'll give them some time to. Mm -hmm answer all these questions and then work with the town, get them squared away for the next meeting. Right, like I said, I, we, I did, we, we received a revised plat today. I, I, at this point, I haven't had a chance to really take a look at we'll it to see uh, if all of the comments that were brought up were addressed, uh, if all of the comments from the previous table and the resolution were addressed in that revision. Anybody else getting okay. I'm, uh, I'm all right. I'm gonna make the motion to table it to the next meeting, give them a chance to answer some of these questions here. Tidings. I'll second. second. Aiken. Aiken. Okay. Hetsky. Hetsky, aye. Aiken. Aiken, aye. Knauer. Knauer, aye. Tidings. Tidings, aye. 
Okay, right. just one quick. Do you understand what just happened? So we tabled the application. The zoning board sent us a memo that you guys will get a copy of. The zoning board tabled your variance application and they sent the planning board a memo that we just received and are just getting an opportunity that will be sent along <coughs> to you as well. And uh, so we need to review it, you should review it. The, one of the concerns is the long-term viability of enough parking. Okay. Okay. So um, that's big portion of why it's being tabled. Just wanted to let you know. Okay. All right. Uh, let's keep going. All right. Our last application, application seven, 2067 Fairport Nine Mile Point Road, the Parkside Commons Medical Building redevelopment. Um, so at the did you vote on that? I just want to make sure that oh. we discussed. Did you vote on that? You voted. Yes. Yeah, we they voted. voted on yeah. yeah, I just wanted okay. the applicant sure. to. They're not regulars here, so <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to make it clear what the process is. So, okay. So th at the end of the last meeting, uh, the board requested that staff complete the part two three portions of the EAF and draft an approval resolution. Uh, we did uh, complete the part two, part three here, and we uh, have a draft approval resolution before you. Um, okay. For this application. All right, uh, anybody have any, I think this one's ready to go. Has anybody got any issues with this? No. No, I don't. No. Whose was this? Jim's. Jim's. Okay, somebody want to move for the uh, EAF? Yeah, I'll move uh, for the EAF. Fighting second. All right, Hetsky? Hetsky, aye. Aiken? Aiken, aye. Knauer? Knauer, aye. Tidings? Tidings, aye. All right, now the uh, approval resolution. Tidings, uh, approval. I'll second. Motion? Yes, okay. motion to approve. Both sentences. <laughs> I approve it all. <laughs> all right, Hetsky? Hetsky, aye. Aiken? Aiken, aye. Knauer? Knauer, aye. Tidings. Tidings, aye. Okay. Great. Anything else we got? Uh, those were all the applications I had for you tonight. All righty. Well, everybody, thank you for coming. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you in a two weeks? May 11th. May 11th. Yep, May 11th. Have a great night, and we will adjourn.